Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Let's examine the structure and usage of the Law Firm Financial Analysis Worksheet. This workbook lets you enter detailed financial information about your law firm so you can analyze the results to make better business decisions. First, notice that there are seven color-coded worksheets shown on the tabs at the bottom of the workbook. Information recorded within the Actuals, Project Parameters, Actual Totals, and Monthly Billings Worksheets is then used by the charts within the Billing Timeline, Account Billing, and Skill Type Billing Worksheets. Note that some sample data is included within the Data Entry Worksheets so you can more easily understand how the worksheets function together. Start by examining the Project Parameters Worksheet. Within this worksheet, you list each project by general project type that your firm handles. The sample data appears in cells A7 through A12. For each project type, input what percentage of the total project hours is performed by each general type of skilled worker, which are listed in cells B6 through G6. The percentages are then entered into the intersecting cells. For each skilled worker, you can then enter the billing rate into the blended rate cells in cell range B13 through G13. This rate is the average billing rate for someone with the selected skill set. After entering this information, it is then referenced by the other worksheets to determine project billing information. Note that you can also add columns and rows as needed to accommodate your law firm's business needs. The next sheet to examine is the Actuals Worksheet. Within this worksheet, enter the names of the individual projects your firm handles into the cells in column A within the table. Note that you should also enter the name of each project into the corresponding cells within column A on the Actual Totals and Monthly Billings Worksheets too. Then back on the Actuals Worksheet, enter the project type for the project into the adjacent cell in column B. Note that each project type must correspond to one of the project types you created in column A on the Project Parameters Worksheet. You can then input the actual start and actual finish dates for the project. When you input the values into these columns, Excel then calculates the duration shown in column F. After that, enter the total number of project work hours into the actual work column. As you enter the total work for each project, you will see the grand total of work hours appear at the bottom of column E. As you complete the data entry, the values within all the other worksheets are calculated automatically. This is the data used for the financial analysis of your projects. If you view the actual totals worksheet, you will see the total amounts billed for each general type of skilled worker for each project. The data shown here is derived from the values entered on the actuals and project parameters worksheets. You will also see the month of completion for each project as well as grand totals for all values listed. You can then click to the Monthly Billings Worksheet to view the amounts billed for each project, broken down by month of completion. If you click the Billing Timeline Worksheet, you can view a line chart that displays the monthly billings for your firm. This is a chart that represents the data within the Monthly Billings Worksheet. You can click the Account Billing Worksheet to view a chart that shows billing amounts by project. This chart is derived from the data within the Actual Totals Worksheet. You can click the Skill Type Billing Worksheet to view a pie chart that displays total billing by general skill type. This information is taken from the Actual Totals Worksheet. Note that you can enter your company name in cell A1 within the Actuals through Monthly Billings Worksheets. You can also right-click the Your Logo Here picture at the top of those worksheets and then select the Change Picture command from the pop-up menu that appears to open a dialog box that lets you select a picture of your company logo to add to these sheets if desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.